Hello, I'm Arlene Bloom, the Executive Director of the Green Science Policy Institute. I have a history of adventures climbing the world's highest mountains, and today I'd like to welcome you to an even more challenging and important adventure. This is the eighth of our six classes toxic reduction retreats. At these retreats, participants from business, government, academia, and NGOs who share a passion for a healthier world come together to solve big problems. The seven past retreats have taken place in beautiful outdoor settings, but this year we're in our home, sheltering in place from the coronavirus pandemic. And at the same time, our world is also facing other slower moving pandemics, toxics, plastic pollution, and climate change. For the next three days, we will be learning from experts and developing creative ideas and action steps towards addressing these problems. Our objective is a more sustainable and healthier population and planet, nothing too ambitious. At the very first retreat, we came up with the concept of six classes or families of chemicals containing a majority of the hazardous chemicals in everyday products. This solves the problem of regrettable substitutions when after years of research and advocacy, a chemical is phased out, the replacement is often a similar chemical with similar function, structure, and harm. During those past retreats, organizations like IKEA, Crate and Barrel, and Kaiser Permanente decided to stop using whole classes of toxic chemicals, and they did. New analytic techniques to measure toxic chemicals and products were planned, and high-impact scientific research papers were initiated. We hope in the time of the coronavirus, our meetings will be especially valuable. People are more sensitive to what they touch, what they breathe, what they eat. Today, we will discuss antimicrobials and if their use should be different at this time. Tamar will ask, can we emerge from this time focused not only on protection from viral pandemics, but also from the slower moving pandemic of toxics, climate change, and plastic pollution, which similarly threaten our lives and our world. Wednesday, we'll focus on the class concept and how it can help solve the problem of the highly persistent and toxic class of PFAS chemicals impacting our drinking water, food, and the health of millions. For all these problems, carbon, plastic, toxics, and of course viruses, once the genie is out of the bottle, capturing and destroying it is expensive, if not impossible. A recurrent theme is that prevention is much less expensive and more humane than treatment afterwards. If we can stop non-essential uses of toxics and other pollutants, then the earth can have an opportunity to heal. To learn more and join our expedition to a healthier world, please check out our websites and share them with your friends and colleagues who are interested in reducing toxics. On our own website, greensciencepolicy.org, you can view all the talks in this series and lots more. PSPAS Central has news, science, policy about these chemicals, as well as lists of PFAS-free products so you can reduce your own exposure. Six Classes has short videos on all the six classes of harmful chemicals, again, with examples of what you can do. Uh, my website, ArlenBloom.com, has books, adventures, and more. And if you want to stay in touch with us, please sign up for our newsletters, which are either monthly or quarterly. Uh, you can write me, Arlene, at greensciencepolicy.org, or sign up on our websites. Thank you for joining this expedition to a healthier world. Our route is not yet known. Whether we succeed will depend on our vision, our persistence, and that little bit of magic that can lead to success. Thank you for your interest in healthier products, people, and planet.